I'm going to show you how to fit the walking foot, otherwise known as an even feed foot, to a Janome machine. The Janome machine I'm demonstrating on here is the DC3050. So as with all accessories, you need to make sure that whatever accessory you go for, it's compatible with your machine. So this is the type here where it's got a white bar going across here that goes up and down and the walking foot looks like this. So with a lot of presser feet um, on these modern machines, you can press a button at the back of the presser foot holder here and the presser foot will just drop off and then you can introduce another one. Um, these are the ones that have got the little bars here and you just put it under and lower the presser foot down and you clip them on. So with the walking foot, you can't do that. You've actually got to undo this screw here so that the presser foot holder and the presser foot comes up and you're just left with this descending bar from the machine. So you're gonna need a screwdriver. Um, you should have one that comes with your machine. If you've mis mislaid the original one like me, any uh, flat-headed screwdriver will do. So if you turn it in an anti-clockwise direction, you will undo the screw. And if you just remove the screw, the screw and the presser foot and the presser foot holder will come off. So you'll just put this safely to one side and what you're left with is the descending bar here with a hole through going from left to right. So on your walking foot, you've got a pair of gripper like prongs here, okay? And so from above, you can see that they're like L-shaped. So these are the pair of prongs that are actually going to grip round this bar here. Now the important thing with the walking foot on this model is that this part here, the arm that goes up and down, needs to sit on top of this horizontal screw here. And this is the screw that you loosen and tighten up when you're changing the machine needle. So it actually needs to sit on top of there. So at the same time as introducing the foot so that you um, get this in line with the hole, you need to bring this up so that it sits on top of the screw. So I'm gonna do that now. So with my left hand, I'm holding the walking foot and with my right thumb, I'm just lifting up that, that bar of the walking foot so that it's going to stay high. When I bring the two clasps around the descending, bar here with the hole in. I'm then going to swap hands so that I'm holding the walking foot with my right hand and what I'm doing is I'm just moving it up and down until the hole is in the centre of those two prongs because this is where we need to introduce the screw. This is probably the most fiddliest part. You need to line up the screw with the hole and basically once you've got the first couple of turns in, that's the trickiest bit. So I've tightened it a little bit with my thumb and finger and now I can tighten it the rest of the way with the screwdriver. So you can see here, if I lift up the machine, that that white bar the one that moves up and down of the walking foot is resting on top, which is what you want. Some walking feet will have a little um, pair of prongs at the end of here and they will sit either side, so gripping onto this bar. But on this particular model, it just needs to rest on top. If I just take it off and show you the incorrect position, is if you were to introduce it so that it was like this, you need to screw up the screw, and this would be left hanging, and you'll find that your walking foot just won't work. So this definitely needs to be on top of the bar. So if I just show you that again, take it out, and I've actually managed to lead the screw in in this direction. So I've introduced it again and the, the movable bar of the walking foot is resting on top of that screw and then I can tighten it up and you're ready to sew.